May I help you? We'll be asking the questions, old man. Who are you? I am a scholar. You are a donkey. Assalamu alaikum. The fourth video in the Nikal Muta series will further expose the great scholar, Christian Prince, for his ignorance and stupidity when it comes to criticizing Islam. Before we begin, I will say this. The Muslim brother that CP was debating missed some golden opportunities to really embarrass CP. But unfortunately, the brother himself was not very knowledgeable and allowed CP to manipulate the evidence. Nevertheless, CP made a huge mistake during the debate that really exposes his ignorance. The guy who claims to have a degree in Sharia should know better. Let's see what we're talking about. Can you did the Quran? Okay, cool. Did the Quran? Here we go. Here we go. You said that is obligated. I don't. I am. I'm not in knowledge of this. Okay. So I have to search, it, and then I can reply. Okay. If you come and show me that it's, it is not obligated, hmm. I have to show you first it's obligated. Then you show me it's not obligated. Oh, we go. I will show you first. Because I, ha I have to search the subject. You, you must, it's not, it's not you something must, you, know. you don't follow neither Allah, neither his teaching. Here we go. This is the hadith in front of you. It says, there's no verses in the Quran came abrogating this verse. Read it. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih. And we can show it to you from different reference too, if you want. Read it. Go ahead. So now there's no Quran is no, revealed. Here we go. There's no Quran revealed no. about abrogation. Read it. It's Sahih. What we will do there's now? There's no great here. Okay, it's there's clear. No great here. Read it. If this hadith is weak, are you going to accept it? You say no, for sure. You can sell yourself now. So I'm saying to you, I'm showing everybody how much then they lie in two seconds. So here we go. The Prophet he do muta. Why the I... Prophet do muta? Why the Prophet okay, do muta? I lied. What kind of a Prophet? You, you know, you you deny that this is true just because I said it's if it's weak. But then when I show you that this is Sahih, you know, what you will do with it now, what you can do? It's See, it's first a, of all, you lied. It is Sahih. Come, come, come. It is Sahih. Come, come. Me, show me. Here we go. I'm the one who showed you. It says nobody forbid it. Not in the Quran. And even the Prophet, he passed away. And still there's no obligation. Different hadith says the Prophet obligated. So you Muslims are crazy people. Really, Sheikh CP? Did you really just conflate Nikah al muta with Hajj Tamattu? That must be the case. Otherwise, we have to conclude that you don't know how to read. The English translation of the Hadith of Imran bin Hussein clearly says that he was talking about Hajj Tamattu, which is the combining of Umrah, the lesser pilgrimage, with Hajj. Imran bin Hussein also said that the Prophet wasallam, performed Hajj Tamattu. This is also reflected in the Arabic, where the word Tamattu is used. Now, let's educate Sheikh CP. Just because the Arabic words muta and tamattu are similar and indeed share the same root does not mean that they mean the same thing in every context. It depends on the context. We saw in a previous video that the word muta literally means enjoyment or pleasure, delight, gratification, etc. When combined with the word nikah, it means temporary marriage. This is from the Hans Weir Arabic English Dictionary. What about tamattu? It is also defined as enjoyment. But how can enjoyment be applied to the Hajj, you ask? Good question, Sheikh CP. Let us answer that for you. To further explain the meaning of Hajj tamattu, let us go to the scholarly sources. We are here looking at a PDF of the Fiqh as Sunnah on the Hajj by the scholar Sayyid al-Sabiq and he will explain to us what Hajj Tamattu is. So if we scroll down to the section that he talks about Tamattu, page 51 of the PDF, he mentions that Tamattu is a kind of Ihram, which is the pilgrim state. So Tamattu is combining both Hajj and Umrah with a break in between. Going further down, page 52 we get a more detailed explanation of what tamattu is so let's read tamattu means performing umrah during the hajj season and then subsequently making hajj the same year it is called tamattu or enjoyment as we just saw from hans weir due to the fact that a pilgrim has the added advantage of performing hajj and umrah in the same journey without having to go back home and also because such a pilgrim after the Umrah, enjoys normal life. He can wear his usual clothes, apply perfume, and do other things until the time he once again puts on his Hajj garb for the Hajj. 
This is why it is known as Hajj Tamattu or enjoyment because you are able to perform Umrah and Hajj together during Hajj season. So it's a matter of convenience and you're allowed a brief period in between the Umrah and the Hajj where you can go back to your normal life and do the things you would normally do which were prohibited when you are in Ihram. So wearing your usual clothes, applying cologne and perfume, doing other things. And that also includes sexual intercourse. It is allowed to have sexual intercourse with your spouse during the break in between the Umrah and the Hajj. So this is why it's called Hajj Damattu. So then uh, the scholar talks about what should be done when making Hajj Damattu. The first thing that the person should do is make the intention for Umrah. So he makes the intention and then such a pilgrim should keep on his or her Hajj garb until he circumambulates around the Kaaba, walks between Safa and Marwa, then clips his hair or shaves it. After that, he may put away his Hajj garb and wear his usual clothes. He may do everything that is permissible but was prohibited for him in the state of Ihram. Once again, this is the enjoyment aspect of Hajj Tamattu. You're allowed a brief break in between the Umrah and the Hajj. Then, on the 8th of Dual Hijjah, such a person must declare his or her intention to perform Hajj, which is the main pilgrimage, and put on Ihram from Mecca. And then he finally quotes another scholar, the author of Al-Fat, who says the majority of the scholars agree that the Matthu means a pilgrim may combine Hajj with Umrah during the months of the Hajj and in the same journey and that when he performs Umrah he should be present in Mecca in the absence of any of these conditions he may not perform Hajj the Matthu. So there you go Christian Prince Hajj the Matthu has nothing to do with Nikah al Muta. Maybe you got confused because the same root is found in Tamattu and Muta, but they don't mean the same thing. Nikah al Muta is temporary marriage, which we have already seen has been abrogated. Hajj Tamattu has not been abrogated. As for the verse of Hajj Tamattu, we can find this very easily in Surah Al Baqarah, verse 196. Let's read the English translation Complete the pilgrimage and minor pilgrimage for Allah. But if prevented from proceeding, then offer whatever sacrificial animals you can afford. And do not shave your heads until the sacrificial animal reaches its destination. But if any of you is ill or has a scalp ailment requiring shaving, then compensate either by fasting, charity, or a sacrificial offering. In times of peace, you may combine the pilgrimage and minor pilgrimage. Then make the sacrificial offering you can afford. This is the translation of Dr. Mustafa al Qatab. So he translates the verse as you may combine the pilgrimage and minor pilgrimage. If we go to the Arabic, we can see clearly the word tamattu is mentioned right here. Faman tamatta'a bil umrati ila al hajji. So this mentions both the umrah and the major pilgrimage. In other words, hajj tamattu, the combining of both. So this is a clear reference to Hajj Tamattu. This is what Imran bin Hussein was referring to in the Hadith. Finally, another Hadith from Imran bin Hussein in Sahih Muslim adds that not only was the verse of Tamattu not abrogated by another verse, but that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, did not forbid it to the day he died. So there we go. Sheikh CP really embarrassed himself. The great scholar confused Nika al Muta and Hajj Tamattu. Naughty, naughty CP. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa qul jaa al haqq wa zahaq al baatil. Inna al baatil kana zahuqa.